hello everyone and here we are on Napoleonic Wars again and we are covering another Napoleonic Wars Battle Championship event and as you can see it started in the best way traditionally as Aztir has just snuffed it now obviously you can see here that they just said that the balance is off slightly so what they're going to be doing obviously is sorting out the balance making sure it's as equal and here you can see on the United Kingdom side 59th is 77 wide in R4 making up most of those lots and you can see the NR13, the 2LR and I think that's pretty much most of them there so you can see now that we got a round of mass suicides and you can see we've also got some spectators who are coming in to essentially admin and all the usual stuff so there we go we're now live so it is the Prussians versus the United Kingdom you can see the boys making their way out right now here we have the fine members of the United Kingdom forces well precisely the Royal Artillery making their way out as we are going to just turn those game town down a touch as we get a little bit too much there's Lieutenant White tonight and here is of course the man himself Mr Turtle Charlie the Turtle moving through Getting ready with the boys to get set up. Engineer of choice today for the 77 wide Midgarder. Look at him, doesn't he look handsome? And so these guys are going to be looking for an advantageous hill. Now, looks like they found it. And they've got a Lieutenant Tree from the NR4 in as the cavalry. And there's Crichton of the 59th along with his lads. Getting set up. Fine horn work coming in from the artillery, sorry, from the cavalry, I should say. And the cannons. There's Joshy Boy. Charlie checking through the spyglass. White Knight also following up. There is Sergeant Jacob. Look at him, doesn't he look handsome? Engineering continuing. It's Angle. Angle the engineer. Excellent stuff. Always a pleasure to see Angle on the, on the battlefield. And let's see how long he survives. Unfortunately, we I don't have another client, so I can't record an Angle cam uh, to check to see his uh, survival. But uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Maybe one day he'll make it through an entire round unscathed. Now, building Fort Derp, you've got Midgarder as well. So you've got Angle and Midgarder working together with engineering. So, that's also good to see. There we go. So he's done his engineering. He looks like he picked up the spade to help out. Drops the spade back down as the engineering work continues. So you can see here the teardrop effect of the cannonballs bouncing towards the Royal Artillery here. With old Mr. Charlie the Turtle. Chuck the Turtle, so to speak. And the boys, Drax. And team Jacob as well. You can see getting set up with another cannonball ready to go. Complete with the powder and the charge. Look at this. Fine work. Anyway, let's go and have a look. And see what's going on. Crichton out in the field. Complete with a surgeon as well. Oh, Posh Panda. Hello. So they decided this to... Oh dear, somebody just took a bullet hit. That's not good. And here you can see the 59th Scooter Booter. What a great name. Prozek as well of the 59th, and look at this, the engineer, or sorry, the poor old Pierre has just been taken down, and here you can see Pew of the 59th, fine medicking work coming in from Dr. Pew, and you can see these guys making their way up to the point where they can then start, oh dear, we've lost Speedy already from the Hussars, now, we move over here and see if we can find out what tree is up to 
And obviously the 59th moving in. There we go. You can see them getting set up into a line. Nice shooting coming in from those guys. Oh! Oh dear! Look at that. Fantastic shot coming in from the enemy artillery. Look at that. 59th devastated by a fantastic cannon shot. Sadly, for the 59th, the Doctor was trailing a little bit behind. No way they could have been saved. Von Mollusk. And at the back is Sergit. Now, you can see now that what they're going to be doing is circling around, sort of trying to get around the back to try and attack the enemy. Now, we lock in on these fine Prussians. That's still quite loud, that game sound. There's Oxiari, and there is Ipoa, Oberst of the Second. And there's Zenon, and these guys shouldering arms and moving forward, trying to stop these fellas here from outflanking them. Now obviously these lads here on the 59th do not have the advantage of numbers, but they are forcing this line. Oh, Crichton! Crichton shot down! And then instantly revived, officer aiming. And then a cannibal comes flying past their head. And more members of the 59th fall to the rifles coming in. From the second LR. Look at this. Fantastic stuff. The defenders of the artillery. There's real time or unreal time. Kajusak. Look at this. Lugulus. From the second LR. And there's Mega Wolf. Mega Wolf, sorry. Now they're also being attacked by the artillery of the British Army. Oh, sorry. No, of the. Uh... Oh dear of the uh, Prussians. So there you can see the second LR. There's Magnum TL-31. Trying to use that nasty cavalry saber to take out as many as possible. It's fine killing coming in there from Bubble. Bubble quite literally bursting many of them. Well, precisely. And as a result of that, the Prussian cavalry have not managed to prevent the fall of the Prussian artillery. But now they continue to circle and now line troops come in to support from the second LR. This is gonna be the mop-up operation. The Brits were hoping to avoid the 59th assassin of power backing up. There's musketman Bubble. Bubble deciding not to get burst and making a run for it. Commencing operation cheese it as Posh Panda stays behind in order to hold back the hordes of Prussians. And look at this, turning to fight. Assassin of power holding back the hordes. And he's forced them to stop. Fantastic stuff. So look at this over here. The Prussians trying to put out as spiky output as possible. Loser 23. There's Hansel. There's Smoke. And this is the problem they're going to have. They're trying to defend themselves from circling cavalry. They've got to get in with a bayonet, get an opportunistic stab. Take down the enemy cavalry. And hopefully trim them down in numbers. Here is Yolo Floxy. Floxy Oxy Oxy. From the NR4. And look at this. Houtman Hounsel. Now moving over to this line to support, and this might be an opportunity. The British cavalry now trying to move in. The Khazars being taken down. There's Tricree. Not looking good. Looking very dead now. But the Brits still trying to defend themselves. Here is Charles Lefebvre. And the Brits are trying to defend themselves as much as they can. It looks like we've lost Menka. There's Mark's AV, Marksman AV. Oh dear. What's going on here? There's Charles as well. 
Mark Saby again. God, how many times is he going to come back up? Who's this? In is a member of the Black Watch. There's Bubble, of course. It's Captain Gaz, of course. A Scotsman in Scots clothing. And a nice team kill onto Felix from Drax the Cannoneer. And Gaz looking for that opportunity. Oh, dear. Poor Gaz is cut down in his prime. Spooky defending himself and sadly failing. Spooky is no more. And there will be a side swap in the next round. So, 10 versus what looks to be 10. And the boys regrouping, surrounded by the corpses of their comrades and the bodies of the fallen enemy. Well, exactly. And there's a question as to an all charge. We'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Yeah. What's going on here? Aha! Hello, random horse. Who seems to have a slight inner ear balance problem, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, for the time being, we move on here. <coughs> here, the second LR. And the remaining members of the 77Y. There we go, there's the all charge given. And now you can see, here comes the artillery section. Charlie the Turtle, supported by the likes of White Knight, Joshy Boy, Drax. Now is there a surviving angle in here somewhere? Jade Serpent, obviously Charlie. There he is. The angle himself. Not that we wish to be too obtuse, but we shall keep an eye on Mr. Angle. As he follows his colleagues into the line battle and into the final hand-to-hand -hand combat. That will signal the end of this round. Along with random, and they're not going to assassinate any horses on the way? Okay. UK have to charge. Okay. Angle looking for an opportunity. Oh dear. Migala felled. Matty also going down as well. Following Angle looking for that opportunistic stab. Oh, very close to stabbing his own teammate. So far looking good. Looking for that all-important moment. Taking the attention off of his enemy. Or taking his enemy's attention off of his teammate and onto him. Oh, down goes poor Angle. Oh, shame. Poor Angle. We shall follow the Capitano, Mr. Turtle. As he follows his lads in. Gets a nice kill as well. Now deciding to cheese it in the opposite direction. Turns and fights. Look at this. Oh, look at this. The turtle going ham. It's now a two-on-one situation. But those two have decided to turn back to try and push their advantage. However, the turtle follows in behind as Jacob is felled. And down goes Hansel as well. Oh, it's very close. It's a... 3v2, oh, a team kill, that could be very unfortunate. And a nice kill by Charlie the Turtle, oh, correction. Charlie the Turtle was murdered. And poor old Fortune Zero was murdered as well. Got that slightly the wrong way around. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next round. And there will be a side swap. So, we have changed the sides. And the horn work is underway already. Fantastic stuff, the cavalry getting into position, the lines moving into their various regiments, the artillery moving out, this man in deep danger of becoming stuck in a horse's arse. I still remember that amazing moment in one of the Napoleonic Wars battles when a remaining regiment came following up 
and they were all hiding in this bit, like 20 of them, and it only looked like one, and then literally as soon as they arrived to fight the battle, the guys thought, oh yeah, this will be easy, it'll be fine, and then all of a sudden 20 guys just popped out of nowhere and started having a mass battle, it was amazing. Love that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's and combined with moments like the, um, oh god, when Tercio, during their battles, were doing the equivalent of the, uh, the Roman shield walls and all the rest of it, and the, uh, oh goodness, oh, oh wow, that was, that was fast, holy crap, Mogulwolf, the Howitzman is dead, and they killed, they literally got that cannonball down very quickly, sorry, they got that cannonball down range very quickly, right in between the tree and the rock, and just absolutely butchered him. That's a good shot coming in from the artillery of the 77Y. Obviously, as you can see here, the, art the cavalry, it's Trump Smurf. <gasps> Looking for a punch up. The 2LR, look at these boys, don't they look fantastic? Absolutely brilliant. Look at them all. That there is a thumbnail waiting to happen. So, we'll have to wait and see how that goes anyway. Let's follow in with these guys from the Royal Artillery to see how they're getting on. There's Garras. And you can see Razing Ganon in your face. Or Gan in your face. And they're, of course, Unreal Time doing the engineering. So you've got these boys waiting to go. The cavalry essentially circling and waiting for an opportunity. These guys in a light formation from the 2LR, commanded by, of course, the Hauptmann, Mr. Hansel. We move over to the 77Y now, obviously, Prussians. And you can see them getting set up. There's Joshy Boy. There, of course, Mr. Turtle. There's White Knight. Now, Jade Serpent. Thanks for that name. And Fortune Zero, literally cannonballs flying over the top of their heads here. White Knight getting a kill onto one of the enemy artillerymen. So let's see... ...what's going on, because you've got these guys here... ...waiting to move out. Now, here, the 77Y, there's Major High Lord. Fine beardage on that man. Ricky Maru, Marksman Ave, the better Dutch one. <laughs> Charles, there's Sharky. Who's this? It's Sue National. There's Nigel. Roan, Moretti, Moretti again. There's Spooky. There's Ray. Henker, Slavic, and Aiden, and their officer with the fine mutton chops is, of course, none other than Captain Gaz. Poots, mongs, gins, quivens, and everything else that Scottish people say. Anyway, you can see they're making use of the event. Oh, there we go. They started to move out, starting to make some shots down field towards their enemy to see if they can do some damage. But... You've got lights over here, waiting for the opportunity. Hansel waiting for that moment. Let's see if we can lock in on some others. The 59th moving up to support the members of the 59th under Colonel Crichton, also fine owner of mutton chops. Now, who's this man with the pistol? It's the Wookiee! Look at that. Not enough hair, if you ask me, for a Wookiee. Good shot. And he's working with other members. Musician, Sergei. There's Harlor. Ching Killer. 
Kemet, Krozak, Zeta, Scootabooter. Now, let's see if we can figure out what these boys are up to as bullets come flying over. The 59 taken out again. Lovely shot coming in from Mogawolf there of the 2LR. And they're obviously the, their teammates, deeply concerned about the loss of their colleagues, decided to pause for a quick tea bag while the officer comes in and picks up the musket. That will give him a slight advantage in using a standard officer sword. So somebody bemoaning the case of catching cannonballs with their face on three separate occasions. But boys and girls, them's is the breaks in the wonderful world of Napoleonic Wars. <clears throat> so, let's see. Captain Wookie leads the boys out. German warrior of the 2LR. And the other members of the 2LR have moved up to try and attack. As these guys are hiding behind the rock as you would expect them to. They've lost a few of their number including Spooky. In that contretemps and general punch up. On the battlefield now they've decided to move back to safer cover. Oh more cannons for the 59th. Cannonballs to the left of them, cannonballs to the right of them. And the 59th not having a lot of luck against the cannonballs today. Wow. Look at this, Jacob looking for an opportunistic shot. Gotta be careful, nope, won't have a chance. But now you've got the artillery moving in. The guard, the line moving out to support them on the left flank. The cavalry taking the opportunity to jump the line. The Scots guards, the Black Watch from the NR-13. Lucarius here trying to defend himself. They're trying to make themselves as spiky and unpleasant as possible. But the line with combinations of the, art uh, the artillery and the cavalry doing a lot of damage. Lieutenant Octanidus. Look at this. Oh, lovely shot coming in there from Mos Mega Wolf into the 59th with the canister shot as well. And look at these guys charging in the 2LR. Oh, fine kill. Oh, wow. And Drax with a lovely canister shot kill into the enemy as the cavalry continues to do a number. On the uh, artillery section of the 77Y. What the hell is going on in here? Sioux National basically in a very defensive minded point of view. There's Captain Gaz defending himself. Fine stab by Gaz. Defending himself from the onslaught of the Black Watch. And other members of the British Army. Got to be careful, he's got to watch his back, he kills one of his, one of Gaz's teammates. And Ricky is in as well, look at this. This is a man that, if memory serves, Malekith rated quite highly when it came to melee. His ability, because there are various styles of melee, and his ability to flow between the various styles quite easily was something he mentioned to me on many an occasion. Oh, look at that. Another kill by Ricky. Look at this. And it never ceases to amaze me because obviously I'm terrible at melee in this game, as you boys and girls well know. So really good players of melee in this game just... Impress me on so many levels. Look at this, Ricky. Look at him go. It's like watching a masterclass in melee. Although saying that, he's probably going to get murdered now. Oh, watch out. He's got to be careful. He's watching his back and working with his teammate, which is Gaz. So Gaz and Ricky together. A dynamic duo. Look at them working together against at least six opponents. Gaz and Ricky doing their best to try and stay out of trouble, going in for that all-important stab. 
That was Gaz on the right. Ricky's got to be careful. You've also got the support of another teammate coming in as well. Oh, down goes Ricky. That's bad news. That's bad news. Poor Ricky is gone. Gaz has managed to survive. And he comes in with the cavalry or the officer's sabre. And they're still looking to push back as reinforcements come in. Old man Jubo. And here is Musketeer Bubble. And look at this, finishing off the remaining members of the British Army. Oh, that was nasty. There we go, the kill. And a nice teammate kill for Bubble. And the Prussians have won that round. Well, we're back on the next round. And as you can see, everyone moving out. The cavalry we follow, the NR4. The Prussian Cav, Tunfisk at the back. Look at these guys moving out. Supported by lines made up of the 70s MY there. The artillery section getting into place. Midgard are out with the sh shovel. Charlie the turtle. Putting up the spyglass to his bandaged eye. Needs to sort that out. Needs to really get that sorted. Just poor marksmanship if you ask me. Drax loading up. Jacob getting ready to fire. And away goes the first cannonball. Look at that. Literally the first cannonball fired in under two minutes of the round beginning. And look at that. White Knight with the first kill. Two members of the 2LR taken down. Lovely stuff indeed. Now here you can see the 2LR have just lost two of their boys. Obviously may not be this detachment. But they're staying close to the Royal Artillery. Made up of the 2LR. There we go. It was the 2LR Artillery. So it was hot artillery on artillery action boys and girls. The best kind of stuff. It's all about those large cannons and firing off shots. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a little bit too euphemistic there, I think. But anyway, I think you get the general idea. I suppose it's just the way the artillery tend to try and take out the enemy artillery first before they start to focus on the lines. More chance of killing enemy. And Kujask, second lieutenant, sorry, of the 2LR. Bombardier, in fact, doing the engineering work today. Whoa! Joshy boy just taking down the engineer. Uh, oh, goodness! More members of the 2LR. Being taken down by those cannonballs. Fantastic stuff. Oh my goodness. It's like they're sniping. That's just ridiculous. Anyway. Oh my goodness, it's Surgeon Sharky of the 77Y. No doubt sitting in the corner sniffing his own ether. The 59th head banging as usual. Now this massive long line of 77Y. Move out with Gaz leading the line forward. As uh, Slavic catches a cannonball on his way through. So, more cannonballs bouncing in between these boys as they charge. Oh, goodness me. Oh, another kill with a cannonball. Nice kill from 2LR. Oberst Ipoa of the 2LR. Oh, there we go. Bit of firing in charge, maybe. Dunno, we'll have to wait and see, but you've now got the Brits attacking while they're also being chopped up by the local cavalry. The better Dutch one just got slain for firing in the charge. 
And the 59th taking more cannonballs. So, Afida Moretti and the members of the 77Y move out. And we follow and look around the rest of the battlefield. Let's go and see what's going on with the NR4. Look at this. Cavalry pared down in numbers, but still a force to be reckoned with. Looking for an opportunity to jump on the enemy when they're unsuspecting. Now, the 2LR, as you can see, pared down in numbers quite a bit at the moment. Which is obviously not great as far as they're concerned. As Hauptmann Hansel. Looks to bring them over the hill. Look at this. This is going to be any confrontation soon between the 2LR and what looks to be the 77Y. There's Grenadier Ray. The medicking being done by Sharky. And they all knelt down to keep their position hidden. A random shot over the top of the hill. Now these guys are moving forward. As the bullets ping through the sand. As the 77Y now move forward. With Gaz dodging left and right to avoid the bullets as best he can. Pulls out the musket and now this is the time for the cavalry to attack. The Prussian cavalry, oh sorry, the British cavalry decide to attack. This Prussian detachment of the 77Y just as they come under attack from supporting line. Very unfortunate moment here for the 77Y. This is going to be difficult for them to survive it when combined with cavalry and line troopers with 17 inch bayonets. Henker trying to defend himself. Ray also doing a good job. Fine stab into his enemy. As there we go, he gets a nice kill. You've also got Ichdi from the 2LR. And there's Medic Wald of the 59th helping to support his teammates from the 77Y. There's Sebi NM. There was Sebi NM. German warrior of the 2nd LR working together with Hampman Hausel. Hansel, I should say, and Smoke. And the Hauptmann is down. And German warrior also murdered horribly. And understandably Smoke has decided to cheese it in the opposite direction. Understandably so, really, under the circumstances. I don't think I could blame him for doing that. Anyway. Let's see what happens now. As now here, Garas of the 2LR, members of the Royal Artillery abandon their guns as they're now being chased down by members of the Prussian army. Look at that. One turns to support his teammate, Bombardier Miki. Now circling back to try and attack the enemy with what is the equivalent of a sharp toothpick in hand. Now you can expect to reach anyone. Probably couldn't even scratch your own bum with that. Anyway. Here, Captain Nigel. Other members of the 70 Y. Oh, there we go. An opportunistic moment there for that horseman. Oh, that's exactly the opportunity that Charles was looking for. The horse crashed into the cannon. That was an opportunity for them to jump in on him, take him down, kill him, immobilize him. And now you can see these members of the Royal Artillery are disappearing into the distance to the safety of the likes of the Black Watch as portrayed by the NR-13. Cavalry continues to circle. Oh, Zoki managing to capture a rock and then ended up being horribly brutally murdered. 
Hit and blast the man of the hour there. And now you can see Emma and Mon Mono coming in to support. Supported on one side by Bulab. As another cannon in, cannon comes in. Jacob taking down Connor and Mickey. Here we go. Some of them turning to fight. And they're very quickly cut down. A smurf batters poor old Zeta to, f to the floor, kills him. And look at this. Hit him last, defending himself from two Scotsmen. Trying to do his best to parry those blows, get an opportunistic stab in. Oh, fine kill by Hit and Blast. Ricky has fallen over there on the battlefield. Also, the Crichton has fallen for the 59th. And these two guys still left. Captain Nigel now lining up with a line here from Midgarder and the other members of the 77Y. Fortune Zero, Jade Serpent, there's Hitton. And now they're moving under with the command of Charlie the Turtle. Oh, look at this, these guys taking an opportunistic knee behind the rock. Oberst Phaser. Oh, there we go, that's what it's expecting. Dodging left and right until he was murdered. Brutally shot down. Oh, shots coming in. A nice shot there coming in from the uh, Jacob, supporting his teammates with a cannonball shot. Oh, my goodness, Joshy boy as well. These buggers are snipers. It's hardly fair. So here is Mono. Currently the sole survivor of the British Army and he ain't surviving no more. And there you go. Based on the chat, I think it's fair to say that that has been the end. Three to one. In favour of what are the Brits, sorry, I, my correction, the Prussians were the Brits on the previous one, it's all very complicated, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this particular car, sorry it was a bit quick and dirty, I did get notification for it about six minutes after it started, but uh, never mind, we managed to capture the majority of it, and so obviously my thanks to the 33rd admins, my thanks to all the regiments attended, and my thanks to you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.